surprised oh emzu ya for me mo akwa baba btm africa i'm pretty sure somebody is surprised hey na banzen every day okay but you have way when young work come to ago problems away a different thing altogether so it's btm africa my name is ny dj and today with me is an amazing person he's he says we should call him an international comedian one <laughs> wow international comedian one his name is obi amponsa you know at first eh when you talk about obi the first thing that comes to mind is yamwa you know politician <laughs> and all that but he's okay like, oh be oh guy oh, now i mean oh. you know that, that's how that guy is being but it's good because they say what what take you over yeah first like a kind oh be yamwa it's okay oh be i am concerned uh-huh oh eh eh <laughs> let's take it from this yes that thing free i say the whole comedy industry mm. i mean for you you have a background that uh, you are into medicine i say yeah, you study science yeah. exactly into a bunny saying that from that particular field you want to do comedy as well well uh i always say this when i'm asked that question say uh, comedy in a uh, it's more like a calling, you know. I say, mm. hey, I your friend. Hey, uh, uh, you say they read each other because they're your friend. They found no profession. A friend in bar. It's either you respond or you let it go. What yeah. I say. And now I didn't want to live a life uh, afterwards I would regret. What I say. Say, if you have heard others on TV, I'm going to say, ah, 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 I'm going to say. So, uh, in spite of my profession as an optometrist, you know, I realized I was I was able to make people laugh, mm. you know. And then a friend, a friend, the a lady friend, Margaret, mm. saw me one day in a bus. Like we were coming back from a trip, and I was just telling jokes, and people were laughing. Making people happy. Yeah, and she was like, yeah, "We should make a, tr uh, we should make profits out of this." What I say, mm. say, because <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So on the camera, crying the stage, a fair show. Oh, wow. A friend wants to die. So that <laughs> <laughs> that's how he started. Yeah, wants to die. And then we even had two shows on campus. I was in level six hundred then. Okay. Yeah. So it was it was since then I'm casting on passion there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's not so. Yeah. What you say? It's, uh, despite the. Oh, try so be high. They could be push you. Yeah, you still want to do it. Uh -huh. So I just gave in, and then that has been the story so far. Amazing. Wow. Mm -hmm. Question with my sound cliche, but then most of the time I can't imagine a passion no with this job. I know it's very demanding. Yeah, very demanding. It because be imagine you were in a crown not too long ago, I now we're shows, and all of a sudden you are in Kumasi to do this one. The next yeah. moment you are back, you have yeah. another show, and, and all. I have work from exactly. eight to four. Exactly. You know? But it's all about sacrifice and uh, commitment. That's basically mm. it. Once you decide to. Obi <laughs> Side Jumano on committee, yeah. especially when you want to reap efforts. Mm. Uh, so, with comedy, like I go to work from eight to four mm -hmm. every morning, yeah. uh, from eight to four, uh, Mondays to Fridays. To Friday. Yes, but after the four, and then when I'm home, yes, I have myself, I have to myself, uh, yeah. comedy. So, mm. I write jokes. Yeah. And then I try to practice, especially when I have a show to rehearse and all that. Mm. It, it comes with a lot of commitments. In fact, maybe I'll cry to that new job. Charlie, your time, your time, man. Those. We have to. Who Jimmy now? Your time, man. I can't say more again. Let me, let me hear you. I just want to pass it for you. If you mean it, let me hear it. I can't say more. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you agree, yeah, 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 yeah. But then, mm, I mean, I know say, the, the demands of the job, and yeah, obviously, time yeah, as time goes on, people understand. Yes. But let me congratulate you because you were Nigerian recently. Yeah, for the, a lot of the roast comedy exactly. festival. And that, that's something which is going viral. I mean, I've seen the mm -hmm. videos, and it's doing amazing numbers. People were commending you, all that. The very moment I think I was talking about Nigeria. And there's the situation at Ghana, you can't say Ghanaian comedians can't stand yeah, yeah, against stand the Nigerians and all yeah. that. And you were going into their territory. I know, it was, it was a tough condition, bro. It were was, you scared? I was, hey, hey, I was scared. Even backstage, before I went on stage, I was so nervous. Mm. Jacinta was going first and then afterwards me. And she went and killed it, like, mm -hmm. blast. Amazing. Because she was Nigerian, Yeah, Ghanaian. Ghanaian. You know? So the people were really uh, vibed with her. Mm. So it was my turn to go on stage, man. It was, 
the pre it was it was uh, I was nervous actually. Mm -hmm. The pressure was high. It was so huge. Then when I went on stage, that was my biggest crowd ever. Whoa! Yes, because front before the big or left, mm -hmm. right. You know, the big auditorium, yeah, echo center. It's, yeah. it's big. That place was filled to capacity. And you, you crack a joke and you hear the laughter like mm -hmm. uh, uh, you As I swear to God, bro. It was good. Wow. It was really but the the point is that uh, I had started preparing for shows like this. You know? Okay. Yes. Way back when I started doing comedy. Mm. In fact my uh, my aim is not just to stay in Ghana. Mm. Mine is to fill the O2 arena, the MSG gardens. So, yes. So that's the dream, that's yeah, what you're working yeah, towards. Yeah, so Apollo, you know, so uh, it's a gradual process mm. and I'm always prepared for every stage in my life, you understand? There's something you say, I think say, it makes sense and obviously anybody would have to pay attention to it, the fact that you prepared towards it. Mm, Even do. when the opportunity was not there, you yeah. were prepared. So it meant that Once if you are not prepared, an opportunity in buyer, yeah, exactly. it would have been exactly. a total failure. Exactly. I always say this because you are, you'd have to be prepared for, even for our local uh, market or should I yes. say consumers yes yeah. consumers because more often than not what I realize is that comedy no uh more bad no more bad no no next week we show more and better mm. but you're saying comedy is unlike music ah uh, my music in Eto Angela since twenty something ah uh, yeah. oh boy and then but two are still people will vibe with it mm. no the mic no crowd show no more no more to a man what you're saying mm. but comedy it is what can one joke twice thrice. People start referring. Because almost always, audience near the same people. Ghanaian, mm. uh -huh. So, even for the local audience, you'd have to prepare more stuff for mm. them. So, once you're doing for that, you do for the external audience. But if I get the chance to be on Britain Got Talent, mm -hmm. I have staff prepared for that. Wow. American Got Talent. So, like, the dream is huge. <laughs> what is there? It's a whole prepare <laughs> content in the world. At any oh, point in time when yeah. you are called, uh -huh. you know, so bad. People say, okay, because as a, as a comedian, they are so prepared. But how do you prepare? Who can say, I was so prepared? Is it say, when I'm not a man for jokes, and I'm not for sending jokes, how do you prepare? Yeah, no, so, uh, it will be honest with your prepares. Mm -hmm. My, I'm more of an observational comic. Okay. It's a memory, BB. I be like one the normal person. We be look you. Oh, she know where you went. We be overlooking uh -huh. your attention. We be out not to to move. I mean, all them call out for buy. You know, we be very hard to But me, I'll 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 think about it and then try to construct a joke around it. Yeah. So basically, that's how I prepare my material. Okay. Like you in IT, I know having a conversation. I look, I look through the funny stuff and I become exceptionally observational. Mm. And then I draw material from that. Mm. And then I come, I rehearse. Okay. In front of my mirror and see if it's funny. After that, you try it on stage with a few people, you know, mm. like the normal comedy clubs you do, yeah. Comedy Express. Yeah. Yeah. Try a far. A far that you know. Try to was say okay. <laughs> Where? A better for a conference center. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, the way of potential. Exactly. Hit. Exactly. Mm. The same way used to joke be. Uh, about if Jesus was Ghanaian, which mm -hmm. tribe would he be? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So I, yeah. It, it went viral. Mm -hmm. But where it started was actually in church. Uh, I was seeing a church program of a sort. Oh. And I said, okay, but let me drop this and see. And see, see the, the reaction. Nefa, in the fire. And then I kept trying it. And then it blew on a bigger stage. Wow. Yeah. So wow. that's basically how I prepare myself. You, you talked about that from Nigeria. I mean, you've been back in Ghana for mm -hmm. a while. Mm -hmm. And recently, you, you actually got the president yeah, I know. and all the big people <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Some, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there were there were jokes be out pass here. I mean some people will sit back and say, ah. Yeah, yeah, do you look at that? And I feel that if you start to pay attention to that, a BMP do creativity. I think art, art, art should be unbridled. Art should be uh, uncensored. Mm. Though uh, you'd have to respect people yeah. uh, when you are delivering. Mm. But art, uh, I say, you're restricted. You're so restricted. Uh -huh. And you're the BM. Mm. What do you say? Was there was the joke I did, and I hear a lot of people saying that oh, I'm the president in India, and so, but there was no other punchline for that joke. Mm. Like uh, African parents 
Mm -hmm. There's no way I can reframe this. Yeah. Because it happens in every African home, almost mm -hmm. every African home. Mm -hmm. And he got it. And the rest got it. You understand? Yeah. So in the end, what we achieved was that we communicated. Mm -hmm. You understand? I mean, how I do my joke is that I bring to four uh near maybe I say they are important stuff to talk about. But yeah, can People say, overlook in a, it. Yes, in a humorous way. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because I was addressing the health system. Yeah. yeah because uh, how we are suffering one to one ratio in the but here in Ghana is one to one region, one doctor, one region. One so region, yeah. yeah, so I was addressing all those stuff, brought in those those stuff. So the point wasn't just to make that joke. It was mm -hmm. to bring to for a bigger uh, uh, and I do believe and I know so I mean as Rebecca say um, comedy a uh, mirror mm -hmm. it mirrors what society is exactly, all about so exactly and, and it's all about growth too I mean as it goes on uh, because there will be a point in time I'll look at some jokes and I'll be like oh idiot I guess a mechanic say yeah. you know, it's a growth thing mm -hmm. I'm just five years in this industry mm -hmm. you understand so, so five years you seem to have done a yeah, lot already fine, yeah I, when I you criticisms um, I think say to say the can say be a repetition yeah, mm. the after the presidential yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, I get even on my YouTube channel when I post my videos on YouTube. Mm. There are people like ah we we've watched you perform this joke here, here. But my point is that when I post a video on YouTube, it's for those people who haven't seen it to watch it. If you have mm. seen it, okay, mm. that's fine. Because more often than not, you know, because we have varying audience, eh? Yeah. If I perform this joke, I'm more of a corporate comedian. Mm. If I perform this joke to MTN, okay, mm -hmm. and they video it, and I perform the same joke to Vodafone, and they video it. Now, these are two different, different entities who have paid me to perform to them. Mm. You understand? So I'm telling jokes to people who have paid me to exactly. perform to them. Not you who has a so 20 any, megabyte. Any free exactly. So is. if you are watching it on YouTube, it's because that joke has been paid for. And it's get, even because it's been made public and exactly, you can access it. Exactly, and you can access it. So mm. it's for you to enjoy with your megabytes that you have. But <laughs> those who have paid, let them also enjoy. enjoy. But for the president's one, that mm. was the first time he was hearing me. Mm -hmm. That was the first mm -hmm. time he was seeing Obi. And I'm sure even the people there, that exactly. kind of audience what, Nobody knew me. So he wanted me to go there with new material that I hadn't tried. I will go there with the conk ones of that course. have worked with people yeah. who have watched and then kill it and now you hear my name next time I go. Oh, that boy, he was very funny. You I'm understand? sure Zabia, the next presidential uh, ball. Uh, yeah, you know, Mijina <laughs> Munana. So a friend. I'm very good, I'm a friend. <laughs> well, I'm a friend president. Yeah, I'm good, I'm not. <laughs> No, 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 I'm too yeah, yeah. I, I saw, I saw how you tried to rope him in, yeah, in the whole conversation. Yeah, he, he felt the the battery percentage thing. Ah, exactly. It, 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 you know. <laughs> <laughs> was at the point? I'm uh, checking uh, and uh, uh, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Uh, so, guys, I'm still speaking to comedian Obi Amposa. I mean, he's in the sciences, but he's still passion and talent. Uh, internet he has to still do that and satisfy that and he's doing so well mm. performing to thousands and big people all over the world now he says and the target is to do that yeah. go to arena and to said yeah i'm forward. following that footstep I, I it it may take a while but it will happen mm. yeah. which was uh, voices in my head uh, yes how was it it was mad it mm. was crazy the videos will come out, you see. In fact, eh, when I started advertising the show, mm -hmm. I thought to myself, it was a, the venue takes 312 people. Okay. So I thought to myself, am I, am I, do I have that capacity to sell to, out? Yes, to sell that. Okay. Yes, because uh, you know, Ghanaians are not really gelling. They are now gelling mm. to the comedy stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I, I was, I was really uh, doubtful. Mm. Yes, on the uh, turnout, and what I tried to do was. I didn't want to publicize it along with any other comedians, you know. Mm. I wanted it to look me like... Me about you. Yes, I wanted to see how many people patronize my stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so it was just me, you know, yeah. making the noise, making posting on social media. I had a few people um, call me for interviews, Giovanni, yeah. uh, Sammy Flex, you know, mm. uh, Andy Dusty. Do, they all called me for interviews and all that. So and then the show happened last week thursday i, I mean this last thursday thursday 5th yeah. december it was crazy mm. there there were people standing and wow. people not getting checked it was sold out 
And I said, man, if I've gotten these people to come sit down, mm -hmm. I'm not leaving one joke out. <laughs> they had to give it I to them. I did like an hour and 40 minutes. Wow. And, and over jokes and they were laughing throughout. I had never felt that joy. Mm. You know, the next day was my birthday. Yeah. Sit, so it was... Belated birthday. Uh, thank you, boss. It was mad. It was mad. Uh, wow. Everybody that came had fun. They had mad fun. Some thought the 50 cities I charged was too... Was even too Yeah, small. For, for, for the laughter they, they enjoyed. Yeah. yeah, it was good. My first special and it was good. I, I believe there's more to come. I actually have a title for my next one. Oh, already? Uh, half full. Half so, full? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you, sir, is this going to be an annual thing? And yeah. I said, you have a, a, a biannual thing, and every yeah, quarter you I'm have one. I'm hoping to do twice every year. Okay. I'm hoping to do it twice every year. Mm. Yeah. So, so maybe next year we can have voices in my head yeah. too. Yeah. Oh. oh no, but I, I, I plan to change, you the, change names. the names. Yeah, oh. this one is half full. Like, I want to do a comedy where one part is talking about me as a medical pro, uh, okay. uh, professional mm. and me as a comedian. As a comedian. So half full. I don't, yeah, okay, yeah. I get it now. So it's not like full F U L. Yeah. Like F O O L. Yeah. So oh, great. That's that's like a concept I'm still thinking about. I haven't really uh, finalized, yeah, finalized it, but I think it will be good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But I think so. I'm yeah, looking forward to that. It should. It should be good. It should. I be should good. be looking and forward I'm a to master that. too. So I want to. Your yeah, grandma started to yeah, in but, church. Yeah, yeah. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to wear. I do. I am a year in the day. I understand. Yeah, when say just is any young girl walk out. And it quite any young maybe in the Oh, quite any young. I say Papa be a matzi. I say. Oh, perform a man and I'm in the day. I'm young girl now. Oh, but I'm in the day. I am BP for you, but yeah. I don't know. I'm not that person. I'm not young. Oh, I think so called China is a day, no more bomb. Yeah, a good born or trumpet, mm. so near the other. Yeah, another guy. Oh, no, hey. no swag. No swag. <laughs> yeah, um, the comedy industry, if I should put it as such, in general, um, for some time now, it seems that there's positive. Mm. Uh, people are now speaking all the good about comedians from Ghana. At first, near because of Ghanaian yeah. comedians, the Omohunya yeah. say, and it was tough even getting sponsorship. I know it's still a yeah, challenge. It's, it's sponsorship, there still is a challenge. Mm. But then, the international judiciary they say, I'm not for pay attention to Ghanaian comedians. Is it because uh, you guys are unified? And now I say, because most of the time, who Maybe a banana, you know, when you know, you are all supporting one person, yeah. you are all doing yeah. is it the unity? Yeah, you know, this had me banana say, You guys are trying to prove poor wrong, so you are, you are giving off your me. best. I think it could be both. Uh, the mm -hmm. unity is part, and uh, the ability not to give up, mm -hmm. you know, because the more people talk bad about you, the more you are challenged to prove to them do, wrong. Yeah. Yes, and uh, it wasn't like we are funny now. It mm. wasn't like that. You've been funny all this while. Exactly, but the attention mm. wasn't on us. You know? mm. it, 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 the, the challenge wasn't there. Because if you work for a while, you, you expect to be elevated to a certain level to prove your worth. Yeah. You understand? That is what happened for me. After performing for a while, I was invited by KSM to perform at the Fiat Yeah. On, the, uh, on his national, national theater. theater. I'd never theater. performed there before. Mm. That was a challenge. Mm. Now you've been on that stage. You dare not mess up. You yeah. Know? So gradually, once you are given more platforms, the more you are forced to grow. Yeah. You know, after coming back from Nigeria, my my uh, confidence grew to grew. a certain level. Mm. You understand? So because you performed to those exactly, thousands yes, of to Nigerians to laugh, mm. and we are arguably they are the funniest people in Africa. Yeah. You know, so after that, I'm like, oh, the brand is progressing. I can do more. Mm. So basically, that was the problem with Ghanaian comics. Mm. The exposure wasn't there, mm. the platforms weren't that many. Yeah. But now, if you come to Accra, I mean, even Kumasi, there's Comic Thursday. Yeah. So now there's, there's always there a platform. More platforms exactly. for you to exhibit your and talent. The more you exhibit, the, the more you hone your skill, mm. and then the more you become perfect at what yeah. you do. Yeah. Yes. So that's that's basically our secret now. Mm. You understand? And the, unif the unity thing is that though we don't have an association, Mm -hmm. which they are trying to put some together okay. that unity team too is very helpful because mm -hmm. people see that oh yes somebody helps this one out uh, and uh, nobody i don't think there's that envy uh, because we all focused on one goal mm -hmm. you know to make Ghanaians laugh and mm -hmm. to build our brands to a certain level mm -hmm. though well, they, chichi, chika, kare, ba, we, of course we uh, are human beings yeah but mm -hmm. we are growing together as a group mm -hmm. yes yeah. mm -hmm.
All right, so BTM Africa, I'm still speaking to comedian Obi Amponsa. You can check him out. Uh, his YouTube channel is doing very well. Some amazing numbers on there on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Check him out as well and see all that he has to offer. He's talked about Voices in My Head, which will become an annual event. Yeah. And then, of course, How Fool, How Fool. which Onyan finalized it, but yeah, obviously yeah. the whole concept <laughs> is there. And we are looking at saying also Beba. So um, before we go, obviously you want to tell your fans something. There are people yeah. who have held you down. Yeah. And um, you just want to, by way of appreciation and all that, you want that's, to tell them something. Yeah, that's a whole lot of people. Mm. Yeah, a whole lot of people. My, first of all, my family. Mm. My big brother has been supportive since day one. Mm. My mom and dad, I mean, my, my kids' sisters. And all you my- You are behaving like uh, <laughs> a Samoyedja <laughs> and I said Stephen Apia. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, we're 32, but we're my 17 year old. <laughs> Sorry, can you imagine that? What, one of the football, John Mensah was 37 John Mensah. recently. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> but did you see Michael Asian's own? I think last week, yeah, 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 Chelsea wished him well, Real Madrid yeah, wished him well. 35 or, 35 or 32. You know, that is why they don't get well. You know, they, that's why Omoko Injia, Omoche, mm. was. When you are sick, eh? mm -hmm. medication is the mound. It is age specific. Mm -hmm. What you say? Yeah. They say Oba, on command on para tablet, a crack it one. Command para syrup. Yeah. What you say? So because of the age. Eh. And the uncle Brian can say the man co co crazy. Can see a man of para. Age now, eh? What football? You are command syrup. It's your normal name. It's your normal name. Co. <laughs> and that, that is the problem with uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, I want to thank my people yeah, sure. uh, people who have supported me since the one on Facebook mm. uh, even my show mm -hmm. <laughs> this is why I'm, I'm loving this comedy thing I mean there are people who hate but there are people who love you genuinely yeah there are people who couldn't come for my show but bought tickets for people who would come oh wow yeah there was uh, Salom did that uh, Agree did that. Uh, Black coffee. Oh, amazing! Katie. Oh, lo lots of people on Facebook mm. bought tickets for people who could, uh, uh, who want couldn't, to come. yeah, would want to come, but they couldn't because yeah. they were out of town. Mm. So I'm, I'm really grateful to all these people: Giovanni, Sammy Flex, Andy, and Dusty, yeah. um, a lot of guys who gave me the platform to uh, foster Romanus ETV, mm -hmm. yeah. TV Ghana. They, yeah. they gave me the chance to go to. So, I mean, God bless them and, and people have supported me with money, my sponsors for the show. Then I can't, I can't. Oxygen, Oxygen, the guy, I told him that, that I want to do a special. He said, their production, mommy. And, mommy. and he handled it perfectly. Oh, wow. Mr. Nutako, Oxygen, if you are watching this, man, God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you too for yeah. actually making time for me. I know Thank you. You, you killed the show. Yeah. And then I was having a chill bed. I saw that thing. I mean, I mean if you want to cry, you want to go back. Ah, I did but, too much. But it's, it's all great. I yeah. mean, we wish you the best. We Thank wish you, you so well. Because I know so you have passion for this yeah. thing. And Thank you. For we are always here to support you anytime. Thank so you. just Thank you. let Thank us know. You are doing a great job as well. I'm trying. Yeah. No, you are not trying. You you did try. You did force. You did force. I'm trying. I see what you do for the musicians. Especially the chairman, and the South Korean. I see that, man. Keep, keep doing the good work, bro. Thank you very much. Yeah, keep supporting but us. That's it. That's it. That that me, 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 me advertise the guy. Hey, God, we got the power to you. It's good, very big. Good label nice. apparel. Good label apparel. Link up with me. I will direct you to him. And mm. He's good. It's very good. I mean, it's it's, it's very Simple good and classy, right? Very, very good. I'm sure the one here in the president who could best understand my father. Mr. Minyata, I'm a son. To be a good one. Obi, thank you very much for yeah. coming, and yeah. wish you the very me. best. Thanks for having me. Yeah. All right, guys, so it's been BTM Africa. My name is NYDJ. I was speaking to comedian Obi Ampo. So remember to subscribe, share, leave your comments, and get in touch with us anytime you want interviews of such nature. Thank you for watching, and have a great time.